even though it's June or uh, May, still lots of sand in certain roads like this one. Kind of frustrating that they don't get the sand out of the roads. All right, well, actually, I have something to talk about now. Something that kind of bothers me is that they never seem to design roads with motorcycles in mind. Well, they, they never design roads with motorcycles in mind. If you'll take, take some notice for an example, the, the biggest thing that is both a lifesaver for cars and an absolute killer for motorcycles are guardrails. Because what happens with a car is it bounces off the guardrail, keeps it on the roadway, and it doesn't go off into a ravine or a ditch or some place that a car would rather not be. But the problem is, is that on a motorcycle, if you hit a guardrail, especially if you slide into a guardrail, there's a very good chance that your legs or your arms could go through one of the openings in the guardrail and get stuck on it and just shred your leg to pieces, snap it off, do terrible things to you. That wouldn't have otherwise happened if you just slid across the roadway and into a ditch or into a ravine. That, you know, you'd actually be in better shape if that happened. So. They also, if you drive kind of straight into one, you ride straight into one, you know, avoiding an obstacle or whatever, then you're catapulted over the handlebars into midair versus maybe just driving onto grass and maybe even keeping the bike straight up, and if not, just falling sideways and sliding across the ground much more calmly. So, the, um, the uh, guardrails are very... Um, dangerous actually for motorcycles they're almost never better what's a good thing though are jersey barriers because well for the most part because at least they at least they act you know more like a wall so you're not going to get your legs stuck in them as easily they're not perfect they're not as good as nothing for the most part but if there is a nice cliff or a bridge it's better than nothing to have a jersey barrier there um, for a motorcycle instead of a guardrail that's just gonna send you catapulting underneath it and you know getting your legs stuck in it and all that kind of stuff so I just don't quite understand why they I don't know I, I just I guess they can't design everything for motorcycles but there are millions of motorcycles on American roads I think that they should put some consideration into their safety but they don't and that's part of the problem with the motorcycle riding is that they don't care they don't think about our safety one damn bit and that's kind of what's frustrating. That's one of the most frustrating things. Car drivers are after you, for the most part. Um, then you even have the road designers that are after you. And, and, and even the cities and stuff. They clean the roads a little bit. But like roads like these, they'll never get cleaned. So they're, they're at least stand on them until July. And, and, you know, I'm used to that. I contend with it. It's safe. It's fine to go slow. But if you're not used to a road and you don't expect sand to be there... It can be hard sometimes to correct for something you didn't expect to be there. And then you have people turning left like this. It's like, I have no idea. This guy just decided right now to turn. It's kind of, uh, it's, it's a little frustrating. But it's just, um, you have to contend with the challenges that they give you on the roadway. And just hopefully you can stay safe within the, the boundaries of what you have to work with. And then even those little wooden guardrail things. First of all, they're not going to stop a car. Second of all, all they're going to do is hurt a motorcyclist. So not only are they not going to help you from a car whatsoever, they're only going to make a motorcyclist's life that much worse. So they're, they're, they're not helping anyone. They really aren't. Any bigger vehicle, they're just going to flip too. So it's frustrating when you know that you're being put in unnecessary danger for even the littlest things. Um... Up. Just got to uh, got to do what you got to do, I guess. So another thing that is kind of on a similar topic is you know, they steal great bridges. On a car, yeah, whatever. You don't even think anything of it. On a motorcycle, holy crap! <laughs> yeah, that's one of the worst things to go over. It's like ice when it's wet. It's, it's terrible. And if you have to make a quick maneuver on that. On a motorcycle, you're screwed. I mean, good luck stopping hard on a graded bridge like that. I mean, all you can do is keep your distance and hope, but you never know what can happen. So it's just frustrating even knowing that they make bridges like that. And once again, they don't think about motorcycles when they create them. Oh, I'm missing one of the biggest ones. And that's... Car snakes. 
you have all these tar snakes around here that screw you up and screw up with your tires and you get around some turn that you're going a little bit hot into and you look up and there's all tar snakes over the road it's it's not a it's a scary moment so obviously you should be not going hard into a turn you don't know but not really the point here point is is they the cover the roads of these tar snakes and when they're wet and even when they're just hot and and they get kind of moist they're dangerous they're really dangerous and they're slippery and they're really frustrating to deal with so um that's just another thing you have to watch out for road wise and then there's all the oil in the middle like look at all that oil it's terrible for the tar snakes too and then you gotta watch out for well another thing that I noticed too is they'll have these huge bumps in the road like potholes and stuff okay you know they have potholes in the road whatever you avoid them thing is though some of them are so big that you can hit it with a car and it's like oh my god I've hit, I hit the pothole but you hit it on a bike and you're flying through the air and it'll just lock the front tire right in that pothole there's like six inch potholes I hit one pothole on a 55 mile an hour road one time so I was doing around that 55 60 right in that range I hit this pothole and the bars just ripped out of my hands it was that big of a pothole and that's just not a good thing and it was in a shadow so you could not you could not see that pothole whatsoever